In this tutorial, I will show you how to make a stencil from a photo online free using Moco Fun. Let's explore together how to create personalized stencils like these online for free. First of all, open up MocoFun.com. If you don't already have an account, don't worry. Registration is free and easy to do. Go up to this top bar and click Templates. Now, you can type in Stencil Maker from Photo in the search bar. Go ahead and click the first result you see. Alternatively, you can also click the link in the description of this video. This will lead you to a page with a short description of the template and example photos. Let's click the Use This Template button. You will be redirected to MocoFun's editor with a default image already opened. Let's go to the bottom right here where there's a window with some quick settings. Let's choose an image. You can either do this by clicking Upload New Image or Image from Gallery and choosing a picture from your computer or previously uploaded files or clicking Elements to the left here and then Photos which will allow you to pick from MocoFun's abundant assortment of pictures. For now, I'm going to upload an image from my computer. You will see that automatically, MocoFun will convert photo to stencil. With this, you can start to adjust certain parameters. First, the threshold filter. The lower you go, the less shadows the filter detects, and vice versa. Adjust it to your liking. After that, you can see below here that the color is adjustable. Click the rectangle and play around to get an interesting result. For now, however, we'll be keeping it black. Curious how this filter works or want to make some more adjustments? Click the image once and head on over to filters up here to see what smart filters have been applied to the image through the template. Of course, you can adjust each of these however you like, but I often encounter artifacts or unwanted details when I work with images like these. So, let's erase them. Go to the Mask filter, right here at the very bottom, and click Paint Mask, and then Hide. Hovering over your canvas, you'll see the size of the brush. Feel free to adjust it to the needed size. Feather makes the edges of the brush blurry, which, for an illustration that employs hard edges like these, is not needed. Now, we can start to paint over areas like remnants of the backgrounds, some stray hair, etc. Once you're done with that, you can either press the Escape key on your keyboard or Done right here at the bottom. You might also notice these other filters on the right. As you can see, similar to Photoshop or Affinity Photo, there are many different available filters that could speed up processes for any of your editing needs. You know what's the best thing about these? All of them are non-destructive. That means they don't have any permanent effect at the base image, and you will be able to hide any of them. Just click the eye icons at the left of these labels. This also applies to other templates on MocoFun. Right now, the image is not at its full size, but with just a few clicks, we can fix that. Go all the way to the top here and click Properties. In the W% percentage and H% percentage boxes, type in 100. Go down to the bottom right here, and clicking the Crop button between the Settings button and the Need Help button. You'll be given two options. This time, we'll be choosing Trim to Content. Okay, that looks beautiful. Let's save it. From the Quick Settings tab to the left here, we can click Download. And then appears a list of different save formats, such as the usual JPG, PNG, to allow for transparent background of course, PDF, or SVG vector file. Note, however, that SVG vector files are available for premium users only. Let's save this as a PNG file for now. And there you have it, the final photo stencil. With Mako Fun Stencil Image Maker, you can create one-of-a-kind birthday cards, stunning canvas art, custom t-shirts, trendy tote bags, and a variety of unique decor pieces. Thanks for joining me today. 
If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more tutorials about MocoFun. Drop any questions or feedback in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. Until next time, happy learning and take care.